Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Highlander XLE Hybrid. Now the most notable features on the XLE Hybrid is its power liftgate, its heated front seats, and its energy monitor. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle, just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Highlander XLE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the XLE model is your auto daytime running lights, you also have your newly redesigned front end for 2017, fog lamps, and if we just take a look just over on the side here, you're going to see your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. On your mirrors you have your integrated signal lamps as well as your heated mirrors, vortex generators, and then taking a look on the inside of the mirror here, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator, it'll actually light up just alerting you that there is another vehicle right beside you. Now the other nice thing with the XLE model is it does have the smart key system. So with the smart key system, you can lock all doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see here on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you put your hand between the handle here, it'll actually unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is pre-dawn gray. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you have your auto high beams as well as your power lift gate opener and your window wiper de-icer. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel are your volume control, scroll function, mode select, you have your voice recognition, Bluetooth, your scroll function for your multi-informational display along with your lane departure alert and your cruise control. Now one of the nice things with the XLE models, it does have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button and it'll start up for you automatically. Now taking a look now at your center dash here, or touch panel, display, uh, sorry, driver's side multi-informational display, sorry about that folks. You have your exterior temperature gauge and then you also have a couple of other additional features including your energy monitoring system, your sway warning control. And then if we scroll over, you can take a look at your navigation, your audio, as well as your cruise control, messages, and then you can also go through your settings for your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off. So when you actually turn on your blind spot monitoring, it'll actually just light up and just send off a signal inside the cabin. And then you can go through here and adjust a couple of other additional features just so you can personalize everything for yourself. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. If you take a look at the very top, you're going to see your digital clock. Heading into your apps menu, you're going to see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now parents, one of the nice features with the XLE model is it does have that driver easy speak. So what the driver easy speak does is a lot of times when you're driving and the kids are fighting in the back, your voice is being projected forward just because you're trying to pay attention to the road just so that uh, nothing happens to you and your family while you're uh, going out on vacation or just heading home. Now one of the nice things with the driver easy speak is when you actually turn it on your voice is actually projected to the third row so when uh, your kids are fighting in the back your voice can actually be um, heard back there just because it's going through the speakers. So the nice thing with that is that you can break up those fights quite easily. Now down below you're going to find your dual zone climate control settings along with your rear temperature controls just located on your right hand side, front, rear and mirror defroster as well as your hazard lights. Taking a look just underneath here you're going to see your traction control on and off, your eco and EV mode along with your USB and auxiliary and your power outlet. And as of 2017 it's now matted to a... Uh, well, I shouldn't say it was still. Uh, you have your automatic transmission. Sorry about that, folks. Um, now you also have your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. Taking a look at the very top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror. And a couple of the controls you'll see at the very top here, your integrated garage door opener, along with your open and close and your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof. With your sunglass case holder and an additional mirror on the inside just so you can see what the kids are doing while you're driving. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you're going to find your back camera just located on your left hand side. Rear hatch release will be located just underneath your Toyota emblem here. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. 
Now, one of the nice things with your third row is you can have it actually folded into the floor. So it's a 60-40 split, so in the event that you do need the additional passengers, you can fit three back there. However, if you do need the additional cargo space, you can have them folded down to actually fold up the seats. All you have to do is just pull on this piece here. It'll fold the seats up. Headrests are just located right behind it, so you can just pull them up. And then if you want to tilt the seat back a little bit, you can just pull on this piece here and tilt it back. The nice thing with that is that you can make sure that your third row passengers are comfortable while, we're, while you're in transit, I should say. Now, to actually have the seats folded back down, all you have to do is just pull on the piece you see on the far left-hand side, push it forward, and it will go back into the floor for you. Now, taking a look just underneath here, you're going to find your jack and your toolkit as well as a little bit of, of under the floor storage just so you can hide away some of your valuables. And this is also where you will be able to um, lower down your spare tire. And your spare tire is just located just underneath the bumper here. Now one of the other nice things with the, uh, the gate I should say is it's a power lift gate. So in the event that you do need to readjust the height, say you want to have it open up at this height for instance. Hold down on this button for approximately two seconds. It'll beep several times. Then when you uh, close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height for you. However, if you do need to reset the height for whatever reason, hold down on this button again for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height for you. A couple of the uses for that uh, power adjustable uh, lift gate is if you're a little bit shorter or in the event that your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of the tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.